I ended up ducking a couch. And no it wasn't a pullout. What's the horniest thing you've ever done? Thanks for coming to another Alien Radio story time. Viewers like you are what make this channel magical. Nah it's still the same ducked up channel, with the same host, Andrew. Since you're already this far in, hit the like and subscribe. If you don't I will tell your parents about all money you spent simping on e-girls. Anyways, let's get into the stories. I made a woman out of clothes and a styrofoam head and made out with her dot dot it. SMH, I was 12. Running to a convenience store at 3 am with a guy I just met to buy condoms and two bottles of Gatorade so we could do it on an air mattress in the living room of my sister's house at 3 am. Jacked off in the ocean. I was on holiday with my mum and we were sharing a room. I took a late evening dip and was curious to see if I could jack off while my dick was underwater. Since I hadn't done it for the past week I nutted pretty quickly, then just kind of swam around for a bit. My mom went shopping at JCPenney and I was waiting in the car. I was about 13 and I was horny as duck. She had some tissues in the car and I jerked off into them. I didn't want to litter so I just put them in my pocket till I got home. Back in high school one time I jerked off 11 times in one day. Between 6 am and 1 am. My dick was in so much pain and I couldn't move for a day or so. Don't do that. I went to go meet a girl on her last night before she moved to a different state so she could suck my dick. She really really wanted to for some reason. I'm parked at her apartment waiting for her to come into my car. As I'm waiting she asks for a pic of my hard dick, so I jack off a little to get hard and. I end up cooming in like 10 seconds, so I turn my phone off and drive home before she ever gets to my car. I was so ashamed lol. Matched with a girl on match.com why you back, when it was all website and email only. Anyways, matched with this girl in the first conversation, by some miracle, we agreed that she was gonna come over that night, go right to my bedroom, bang and she'd leave. Well, that's exactly what happened. Both happy. Roughly a month later I'm walking into a company for a job interview, and one of the interviewers was her. Got the job. Cycled for 4 hours to get to a woman's home in India who had matched with me on Tinder. The chat got very heated quickly, and she wanted to duck a white guy. The reason I cycled was because I was on a round-the-world bike trip. Amazingly it was completely legit, and we pretty much had sex on and off for 24 hours, and we were having sex within 10 minutes of seeing each other for the first time. I cannot describe how horny I was getting messages from her as I got closer and closer to her home. When I was 19 I had a huge crush on a friend of my brother's. We were all hanging out at my brother's house one night, bro goes to bed, and I realized his friend was into me too. So we made out and talked for hours, and agreed it was a good thing that we were at my brother's house, and wouldn't be able to hook up, so we could just get to know each other better, and not move too fast. A few minutes later I looked at him and said, or we could just have sex in my car. Drove around the corner at 3 am to a dirt parking lot and ducked in the backseat. Turned into a two-year relationship, though. Ah, memories. Drove an hour in to see a girl I had previously made out with because she said she needed a duck buddy for the night. Got to her place around 9, hung out with her and her roommate for a little bit, then went to the bedroom. She totally shut down my attempts to initiate anything physical and said it was just the alcohol talking earlier and that she was not DTF at all. So we just cuddled for a bit and fell asleep. At 3 am she wakes up and runs out of the room. I'm like ok wtf and then go back to sleep. Next thing I know she turns on the lights and tells me to get out. Had a very long drive and total confusion back to my place. Got home at 4.30 am, virginity still 100% intact. About 16 years ago, I had just gone through a really bad breakup. You know, the kind where you still duck for a few months afterwards, and neither of you feel good about it. My ex went to see her sister for a weekend, and I offered to dog sit for her. Went out to a bar with friends that night and met a really cute girl. She wanted to go back to her place, but it was about an hour away, and I had the dog to think about. So I invited her to my ex-girlfriend's house, and we spent the next 24 hours or so ducking in my ex's bed. 
A few years later, I married that girl from the bar. Worked out pretty well. I 100% duck my pillow. First, I make a slit. Not too long, careful as to not rip the edges, making what I call the husband stitch. Then, I take two Ziploc bags and I fill them with Amy's organic lentil soup, which I microwave to exactly 98. Which is 6 degrees not enough to burn you, but just enough to feel warm and inviting. Then I place them in the slit of the pillow. There's another slit in the back, but that's only for my birthday. This wasn't me, but I was on the receiving end of this horniness. The guy I went to high school with drove 2.5 hours across the state for me to duck him in my dorm. I offered to let him spend the night, but he thought it'd be weird to spend the night with a guy, apparently the sex was no problem though. He immediately turned around and made the drive back home. The idea of him going nah I can't stay the night man, I'm not that gay kills me. I went to a woman's house, late at night, in rural upstate New York. We had been talking to each other via email at the time, about 1997. We met via Yahoo Personals. Neither of us knew what the other looked like. Not everyone had a scanned picture. I went over at 11 pm on a Friday night, I didn't have a roommate at the time. Went into a completely dark house, located in the woods, and had sex with a woman whom I had known for a couple of weeks, with just several phone calls between us. When the morning came, we were both attracted to each other. We ended up dating for almost a year. It worked out, but seriously, it was stupid thing to do. 19 yo me wanted to duck so badly that, after going out with this really great girl. I convinced her we should park on a less visible side road to talk, turns out less visible roads, have less visible ditches on the sides, and there goes my car into the ditch. Now we are stranded in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere, she takes her shoes off and tells me to go outside and push and hops in the driver's seat. And so I did, I did push. Eight years later I'm still pushing whatever she tells me to. My husband and my first date lasted three days. The only time we went outside was to get more condoms and some Gatorade and snacks from around the corner. It took us a week to have a real date because we'd end up just jumping in bed and would never even make it out the door. Eat it. A lot of people are asking about Gatorade and condoms. Gatorade is a drink made with sugar and electrolytes. It gives you energy and tastes really good when you've been exercising and sweating a lot. Sex is a workout and a lot of sex makes you really dehydrated. Condoms are because you should always practice safe sex and change condoms as soon as the person with the penis ejaculate. Most people don't have huge amounts of Gatorade or condoms at their house, which is why so many people had to pause sex to go get them. Also it seems like we weren't the only ones in this thread that had the same idea. A girl who I never thought in a million years would want to, invited me to dinner at her home with her parents. We were in high school at the time, diff schools, and had been talking dating, but nothing more than kissing at the time. I had no car so she picked me up and she lived in a straight up mansion. Her father who I thought was a lawyer apparently did something for the government. I was clearly dating up as far as social standards go. Dinner went well. Parents loved me. I was riding high when they asked if I'd mind staying and watching a movie with them. Mom dad had one couch and me date had other. I'm on my best behavior when date lays her hat on my leg lap. God damn it. It's dark, other than the movie. Date grabs a couch pillow and somewhat puts it on my lap, but mostly blocks her parents view of her head my area. You can guess what she was going for, but I kept trying to play it cool and block her. I felt it was so obvious and I wanted her parents to keep liking me and not try to kill me and chase me out of their house and all that. Well once I got a little excited, I didn't seem to care as much. All I did was focus on not moving and keeping my face as normal as possible. I don't remember what the hell movie we were watching, but her parents must have been ducking captivated. That or they were the weirdest most polite parents I'd ever met. I gave the three courteous 10 second warning taps, and she made no other notion of acknowledgement other than squeeze my leg. It cow my eyes didn't roll to the back of my head let alone off my face. She zipped my pants back up. Laid back down as if nothing had happened. I felt like I was watching someone else's life play out, but it was me. Since it was late, dad offered to take me home. 
I got nervous and kissed my date on the cheek as we left. Dad let me drive his brand new Cadillac. All the while telling me he was so glad his daughter found such a nice young man. I felt a twinge of guilt, but overall like I had just gotten away with some kind of bank robbery. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.